Anna, what's up? It's great to see you. Hey, great to meet you. <laughs> so, Anna, so how long, how long have you all been homeschooling? Well, my daughter is in the seventh grade, and we've been homeschooling since she was kindergarten, first grade. And then uh, I also have a son who's in second grade, so I homeschool them together. That's great. And how long have you all been with Classical Conversations? We've been with CC since uh, Gwen was in the second grade. I was looking for a community for her because we had just moved into a new area. So we needed to connect with people. And, and she was, there's five years between my daughter and my son. So she was an only child for a while. And I really needed her to be around other people <laughs> to build some friendships some relationships. Um, and, you know, kind of to round out that social thing that we needed as homeschoolers as well. So, um, yeah, so we started her when she was about seven years old, and she jumped right into a CC community, loved it, absolutely loved it. It was definitely, we found our people, for sure, <laughs> yeah. That's great. That's excellent. So what do you do? What's your, you know, what's your, your, your professional background? Yeah, so uh, before I had my daughter, I was the marketing director for a real estate company, and I worked full time. I had her and then at about three years old, uh, my husband and I were praying and we made the decision for me to quit my job and I was home with her for about a year. And during that time I did uh, marketing consulting on the side. And uh, I actually grew up homeschooled. Um, so I didn't really wanna homeschool my daughter. <laughs> but my husband, when we were praying, he's like, you know, I really feel that the Lord wants us to homeschool and uh, and so I want you to start looking into it so we decided to homeschool when she was five started to get her started I did not know about CC at the time so we just did curriculum at home joined a community we were part of a homeschool community there started contributing started to teach at that homeschool co-op and um, then we made a move and my husband lost his job I know this is a long story but I'll be quick my husband lost his job, and after seven years, he was laid off, and we knew that God was launching us into another season, and then we went into full-time ministry. So we moved to Santa Rosa Beach, Florida, which is right in the panhandle between Destin and Panama City, and jumped into full-time ministry as youth pastors, and then we run a ministry school as well. So I went from kind of being a stay-at-home mom. I had just had my son, and I was doing the little stuff on the side to – here we are, we're doing it full time, we're jumping all in, um, you know, and doing all the things that come with ministry. So it makes for a really exciting, very, very full life. And we love to homeschool too. So it's, it's, been, it's been our dream life, I think. I understand that you're also, both you and your husband ha have, have taken on some more roles in CC. What, what do you all do with CC? So I'm a foundations director. Um, I founded the Santa Rosa Beach uh, Classical Conversations community. And I've been doing that for, we're on our third year. And then my husband is a challenge A director at our same campus. And he's actually my daughter's uh, director, my daughter's instructor. And then I have my son in my community and we just go for it. On Mondays, man, it is zero to 90 <laughs> all the way. But we really enjoy it and it's been you know, as in the ministry and as pastors, this blends so well with what we do every day. And the thing that I've enjoyed the most about being a director is the personal development that has come. I know that sounds really kind of selfish, but I don't get many opportunities for continuing education because my life is so full. But the Lord brought this opportunity for me to grow alongside my children and to learn alongside my children and to gain these leadership skills and these ministry skills and development skills that I wouldn't have otherwise. So it's another one of the things that I do as a, a working mom. That is awesome. How do you make it all work? How, you know, how, how do you balance the, the, the homeschooling and with full-time ministry? How do you all do it? Yeah. So number, number one for us is um, fortunately I have a pretty flexible schedule. So what I do is in the mornings, I stay home with my kids and we do homeschool at home. And then um, Joe and I switch our schedule. So he'll come home at lunchtime and then I'll go into the office to do the administrative stuff. So our ministry start 
he's doing classes in the morning and then I come in in the afternoon and do the administrative stuff and then we work all the way into the evening. So our eight hour day is more like from noon to eight or nine because of evening services or media support that we do or counseling or whatever. And we have that morning time together. When I was, it took me a while to figure out our schedule. It wasn't easy and we had a lot of challenges and a lot of back and forth. I think the key thing for us in homeschooling while I was working is to partner with my husband to homeschool our children. If it would have all been on me plus working, or if I would not have opened up our homeschool day to him to say, hey, can you sit with Glenn while she's doing math? Can you take Ivan for a few minutes while I do this with her? Can you take Glenn for a few minutes while I do reading with Ivan? Then I think it would have been much more challenging. And it was at first because I didn't know that. I didn't think about including him in our schedule. I didn't think about incorporating his role as a teacher as well. Um, I was thinking just about it all being on me. So doing that has been really important. And then the second thing is because of CC, we're able to do school wherever we go. So we often travel in ministry and we go from, you know, it might be a long road trip. It might be an overseas flight. Uh, it could be, you know, visiting another church and we just pack up all of our stuff. I give the kids some headphones. We do our CC review. Uh, you know, they'll be sitting in the back of a service somewhere where we're ministering or my husband's up there preaching and we're doing our CC review in the back. You know, they've got their headphones on, <laughs> they're doing their workbooks, they're doing their math, they're doing their flashcards, they're working together. And we're able to have this, the beautiful thing is we're able to do this as a family, which is why we wanted to homeschool in the first place. We wanted to be with our children and we wanted to know them. They wanted, we wanted them to know us. Uh, and I know with our work schedule, if we would have put them into school, we would never see them. We would see them, you know, only for a few minutes before bedtime every night because we work on the weekends, you know, we do the church thing. So it's that flexibility with CC has been really, really important for our family so that we can be around each other so that we can integrate our lives together. That's awesome, man. That's great. What would be some advice that you would that you would be able to pass on to another working mom or or who, who's either you know considering working or maybe is currently working or is wondering if man can I even homeschool as, as a working mom the main thing is you are living your life and you have your family so don't compare yourself to anybody else in this journey don't compare your schedule to somebody else's schedule um, don't try and reach somebody else's goal of success, but really spend some time with the Lord and with your spouse or if you're a single mom, spend some time with the Lord and the leaders in your life, your mentors, and ask him what your children need and what you're capable of doing. Because, you know, when you're a working parent, you are being stretched. And then you come home and you're feeding and stretching your children and you're learning with your children. So it can be very stressful at times. Um, but God is doing something in your life through work and he's doing something in your children's life through work. Don't let those feelings of discouragement or mom guilt come in when you're working. Uh, remember what the Lord has called you to do and prioritize that. The other thing is that, you know, I, I love this. I, I read a book called Teaching from Rest that changed my life when I was starting to do this. And it's all about using your curriculum to meet your goals, not letting your curriculum rule your life. And when you're a working mom, that's really important to balance that because if you are letting the curriculum rule your life, you're going to stress yourself out both at work and at home. But if you're prioritizing learning with your children, then there's grace that comes into your process. And uh, that comparison is a real trap. You got to stay away from comparison. Know that your standard is before the Lord. You're, he's the one that you need to please. Your children are the ones that you need to raise. And God is raising you at the same time. So, have, you know, just tap into that peace of knowing that God has got your process, that he's got you, and that you don't have to push uh, your, you know, if, I'm a very ambitious person. I like to do a lot of things, 
I like to get my hands in a lot of things, but I stress myself out all the time. <laughs> Um, and my husband is great for that. He pulls me back. He's like, okay, we got to stick to our priorities, right? We got to stay focused and, and remember to have joy and, uh, not put so much on our plate that we're choking over the stress level. So I, the, the main thing is to stay in peace. Remember what God has called you to do and use your curriculum to the best of your knowledge. Remember that you can be flexible, that you don't have to be rigid in this school thing because uh, your kids are going to be in school for 18 years. They're going to get it. Sooner or later, they're going to get it. If they don't get it one year, they'll get it another year. It comes in seasons. I know I'm talking a lot about this stuff, but I really, I really love homeschooling. And it's, I know my kids do too, and I know it's been just such a key thing for us as a family, um, especially with a full-time working mom. That was just amazing skinny man that is i know that's going to be a, a, tremendous, With a long one <laughs> well i know it's going to be tremendous encouragement to everyone that 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 hears it that was excellent last thing is there any particular bible verse or bible passage that has really encouraged you through your journey of homeschooling well the one that comes to mind is one i'm sure you hear a lot but it's that i can do all things through christ who strengthens me and all means all that's all things, all the things that God has called you to do as a mom, all the things that God has called you to do as a father, Noble, everything that he's called me to do, all things, I can do all of those things when I lean into the strength of Christ. So I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. When I try to do it on my own strength, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to be able to do all things. Uh, but he empowers us through his spirit to do everything that we need to do, everything that we're called to do, including raising our children and working. Amen. Wow. Thank you so much, ma'am. That was amazing. Such a blessing and so encouraging. God bless you and your family and, and your ministry and all the things that you all are doing. Thank you, Noble. It was great to talk to you.